there is a sense of, like Tim was talking about the nakedness and being seen, being known. That is one of the draws of pornography is that this person on the screen or in the picture, they are naked. They are, we were quote unquote knowing them, but there's no risk involved, right? Yeah. It's right. like we can, we can have it all with none of the risk of potential rejection. And it's very soothing. It's not just the sexual release. It's this whole experience of having someone, at least it seems like it in the moment, they desire me. Right. They are accepting me and they're not going to reject me. They're not, they don't resent me. Um, they're not going to make fun of me if I don't do this or that, or I have done that or that. It's like, I can, they um, are interested in me. They're taking time for me. And it's the whole process of, of that dynamic. Um, when I work with men, I work with a lot of men too. Like we talk about not just a sexual release when looking at porn, but the whole dynamic of being alone, being hidden, opening up your computer or phone, finding the pictures or whatever you're looking at and like what that is like on a psychological level in terms of all of that and how that is soothing for a moment. Once the moment, the whole looking at pornography experience is over, the loneliness is incredible. And so is the shame. So then it's like, okay. It, and when you can help someone see some of the, that dynamic, they may not be able to just like stop compulsively looking at pornography, but they will understand maybe more of what their true needs are, um, yes. which can be helpful for them.